wanna fight right now Know you always right now No one is you around with me But nobody went around with me Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel So today is gonna be an interesting topic We're gonna talk about America's Got Talent so the things I'm going to be saying Ameri about America's Got Talent is true because I went like about two weeks ago. When you um, audition, it's crazy. It's like you go thinking something and like it's like a big old other world out there. All right. So when I first went, uh, me and my boyfriend went uh, to Los Angeles from uh, Fresno. I left my kids with my mom to babysit them for me for the whole day so I can go out there. Um... First, I got this email right here. This and that. So when I signed up, it asks me around what time I can make my appointment. So me thinking I'm making an actual appointment, I'm like want to be there at the time that I made my appointment. Okay, so um, when you fill out the application, it asks you to pick a time around what time you would want your appointment. So I picked around 1 in the afternoon because honestly, I was like with all the traffic and everything, it's going to be a while. It's like a two-hour, almost three-hour drive for me. So I picked that time thinking, oh, when I get there, I'm going to be automatically seen. When you see on TV, uh, you see someone walking in. And uh, well, let me let me insert the clip right here. Like talking about themselves, and then they walk in. Right away, you see Simon, Howie, and the other two girls. It looks like you just literally go to your audition and walk in and they're gonna the, the celebrity judges are going to be right in front of you and you're going to get to audition. It's a lie. Yes, it's a lie. You heard me straight. I'm not lying to you. Only reason I didn't take a picture of when I first, um, when I got to audition is because they take your phones away from you when you're in there. So you won't like record anyone. First get there. Okay, I I put my audition time at 1. So I was thinking, okay, it's going to be at 1 that I'm going to go in. I need to be there, you know, ASAP. So I went. There was people there since 8 o'clock in the morning and still didn't get to be seen. So the appointment thing, it's all bull. It's all fake. There's three groups that they assign you to. Uh, there's crowd A, crowd B, and crowd C. Um, there's about 200 crowds, 200, 300 people in each side. If there's more, they'll add more to it, each each group. Okay, so they chose, the first crowd was the most people that stand it out. Those people, they would take them to crowd A. And the B and C would be people that blend in. So the crowd A, I was part of crowd A. It took us to the top. They had us record for the show. So we were, you know when you see, I don't know, in the videos, you can see like the crowd running to the judges. You don't even walk up to the judges. It's all a lie. You don't walk up to the judges. And the, what they did was they had like the TV cameras. They had people talking there. And then there's like an America's Got Talent. There's a lot of people that like go like crazy, like pink wigs. And like, let me show you these people who came. Pink wigs. They got to. They got camera time because they don't want to record normal people. No, they want someone who's gonna look crazy and like it's gonna make you be like, what the, you know? As they record them so they could get more attention on TV, and the other people who were just normal were recording the other side, which was me. I didn't get no camera time, not outside. So get a drone. And they're like, okay, everybody, I don't need you guys to look at the drone. Act like the drone is not there. What I want you to do is you're going to run up straight and act happy. Hold your flyers up and act like you're going to go register. So we had to get a paper. There were some people who thought it was a joke that were laughing that were not taking it seriously. And they made us do it over seven times. Yeah, seven times. And we had to go back and forth until the whole crowd looked like it was real. Okay, and then after we're done, we're out there for like two hours recording like a five-minute intro. Back inside, and uh, crowds B and C didn't have to go outside and record. You can see people sitting down, you know, waiting for their turn. Okay, it, I, I was there. I got there at 1. It was about 7 o'clock already when I got to audition. 7 p.m. I got there at 1 p.m get there you line up they check your bags uh just to make sure you're not taking anything legal they have starbucks in there but no foods and uh i believe you can come out but if you miss your number i mean that's on you 
and we're in this first crowd and this this is the registration they're not recording this part this is the hidden part <laughs> the security It's, there's like about 10 tables and there's a person in every single one tell them your name what you're gonna sing what your act is and they give you a number you stay you get that number on your shirt you it's a sticker and then you When you first walk in, you sit down, they have the vanities that you get to check your makeup, fix makeup. No, you go with me, guys. And then the camera guys are just looking around, looking for people with talent, and they're like, okay, I want you to do the talent in front. So there were some guys who were dancing. They were just dancing for the fun of it. And the camera guy's like, I like what you're doing. Um, I want to record you. The guys were like, yeah. They started dancing, okay? It was like a three-minute dance. Once they were done, the guy goes, cut. All right, I want you to get out, and I want you to get in. A random guy had to get in the dance just because he fit the part, and the other guy didn't. So then they did it again, and then the camera guy again, he was like, I don't know, I don't like the way you're dancing. He's like, I need you to try harder. And then he's like, okay, I need five girls. Come up here. Okay, you're going to cheer when they're done. And, like, it was all set up. It was so crazy. These guys had to do it about five times. They were so tired of doing it over and over again. I was looking around and uh, I noticed that the camera guy keeps looking at me. So I just smile at him and look down, right? And then he goes, hi, hello. He walks up to me and I'm like, yes, hi. He was like, okay, I, I need you to record something for me. And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. He's like, okay. He's like, so there's an act. You're going to act like the girl's coming out right now. And you're going to act scared. And I was like, okay, well, what do I do? And he's like, okay, you're going to act like you're shivering. And you're going to ask this girl. And he's like, excuse me, miss, can you turn your chair? Some random girl that I don't even know. She has to turn. And he's like, okay, you guys have to act like your friends. He's like, you're going to tell her, oh, my God, did you feel that? And then, and then you're supposed to act scared. And I'm like, okay. So he goes, all right, action. And I'm like terrified because there's like some big, big camera right in front of me and I could see myself on the monitor and how am I supposed to act scared when I don't even see nothing like literally everybody was staring there was nobody performing and I have to act scared look at the crowd and act scared I'm like what the you know so if you guys see me on TV doing doing that I apologize I, I don't know I look crazy I didn't even, I don't even think I look scared it was unprofessional so then they make me get in the back of a, the girl that I was recording with and it's like a family talking and he's like okay and he moves this mom, some little boy off his chair he's like can you move please to the, the chair and then he takes me away from my boyfriend and sits me next to this family and has me blend in and act like I'm joining their conversation so I'm looking like I'm part of their family like I came to audition with them so you know I'm like oh it kind of feels weird you no know, because the guy's just looking at me like who should just sat I just sat there I didn't have a role at that time I just had to look straight and act like I'm talking to them serious okay so after that uh, they finally started calling people it was about like eight o'clock already all the people at the same time and um, they started doing rows about 12 auditioning rooms upstairs and downstairs like 12 each and there's a judge in every single one it's not the celebrity judges random judges that they make their cuts I, my boyfriend was asleep in the car so I was by myself I was looking at everybody terrified because everybody had the support right there and I was just by myself I was just quiet because one of the workers he goes can I have your paperwork I'm like yeah sure he gets my paperwork and then he's like okay come to this line and then I go with about 20 people these people cannot have no audience it's just the talent why because they don't want other people making fun of the people that that do the audition so we go in there and 20 people in a room and there's some random judge random lady she has her computer and she's uh, has our flyers our names and the and the songs we're singing so everyone she just calls name by name so nobody got yes nobody got no so i thought this experience was going to be so different i was all happy like oh i'm gonna get to meet simon and no 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 it's not like that it is not like that it's all fake it's all tv they like weird so this this time i went with pants and a shirt whatever but if i do end up going next year if i don't get in i'm gonna go dressed up i'm gonna go with like a fashion over dress because that's what they like they want someone who stands out it was just a little bit of let you guys know what this industry actually is. I hope you guys like my video and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.